The first Gelwang Drupa, Tsangpa Jeri, gave this teaching to the assembly of his disciples to highlight the importance of remembering the kindness and sacrifices of one's parents, especially the mother. Then, on the last day, he offered tea to the assembled monks and taught this ocean of compassion at remembering one's mothers. Homage to Lokeshwara. Root and lineage lamas of unmatched kindness, whatever pure realm you abide in, I pray to you with complete devotion and longing. Behold me right now with your compassion. From time without beginning, my mothers have perpetually been wandering in the ocean of existence, experiencing the unfathomable suffering of the three lower realms. In particular, in this very lifetime too, they have been clinging to their bodies as worms exposed by the plough, having no idea on how to move around, how to speak, or what to adopt and reject. An organism with layers of rings and hairs and unclean, saying, My son, she became fond of my body's warmth. Watching me with love, she called me by my dear name. Filled with love, she picked me up with the tips of her fingers. She drank whatever she found, but nurtured me with her breasts. She chewed my food first and wiped my excrement and urine with her own hands. She hid my faults and made my strengths known to all around. Even when she fell on hard times, she held me as dear as ever. She dressed me in elegant clothes and gave me handsome ornaments. Whatever the situation was, she had no other thought than me. Concerned with my illnesses, she has given me all sorts of remedies from mountains and valleys. Fearing for my life, she has shed rains of tears. She disregarded any wrongdoing, suffering or gossip for my sake. Whatever wealth she acquired with her efforts, she gave it to me. If I were to pile up all the food she gave me, it would be as big as Mount Sumeru. The breast milk she fed me would add up to an ocean. The tears shed for my sake would make a sea, and the good clothes she gave me would fill the sky. Even though she has given herself as a pawn to the lower realms, has accumulated all sorts of evil karma for my sake, and has voluntarily undergone hunger and thirst, hardships and pain. All alone she has to experience the fruition of those karmas. When I was born as the son of a poor human mother, she had to be a servant of others. And yet, through creating a variety of circumstances such as medical treatments and religious services, now I am part of the human race. When I was born as the puppy of a stray dog, that mother roamed about in road crossings, hungry and naked, fed me massive amounts of milk while she ate excrement and urine, and carried me to safety in her own mouth. When I was born as the calf of a wild cow, she hid me by not letting me catch up with her pace, and then looked at me and licked me as she was being torn apart by a wolf. When I was born as the cub of a wolf, even that vicious and heartless wolf mother who voraciously devoured the warm blood and flesh of the lives of others, nurtured me with them. When I was born as the chick of a bird, she would kill every insect she found on the ground, and every flying beetle or small bird, and would feed it to me without fail. When I was born as the son of a hungry ghost, she would forage all around for snot and such, and endlessly feed me, without a care for all the hunger, thirst or fatigue she had to endure. Mother, you went through all sorts of troubles for my sake. Mother, you accumulated plenty of evil karma for my sake. Mother, you had to undergo inconceivable suffering for my sake. Mother, you had to perpetually wander in samsara for my sake. That mother of mine, where is she now? Where is that kind mother now? Where is that sinner mother now? Where is that mother who longs for her son? Where in the lower realms has she taken birth? What is she going through in terms of heat or cold, hunger or thirst? Who does she have for a protector, for solace or for a helper? What unbearable suffering is she going through? What kind of shape, color or face has she got? How is she doing in the hot hours of the day? How is she doing at night? 
What direction does she have in choosing what to do in the short or in the long term? Think just what is the difference with a beast or with cattle to someone who doesn't even feel a single moment of compassion, knowing his parents have fallen in the lower realms, but rather only strives to fill his belly. Do you think it is fit to have fun, joking and fooling around, playing, eating and drinking, being all agitated and all over the place, rather than having your heart burst into pieces, when that is where their inclination and plans have led them to? Alas, how callous of me! I see, hear and ponder on the suffering of my parents, and yet I thoughtlessly neglect them. There is no doubt my heart has turned into a lump of iron. Neither have I developed an appreciation for what they did for me, nor a wish to repay them. Nor have I developed shame or embarrassment, nor have I developed love or compassion. I have disappointed my elderly parents. How can appreciation and a wish to repay be generated in a son who forgets his kind parents? Therefore, without being distracted even for an instant, bless me that I may remember my kind parents. How could the kindness of my parents be repaid with feigned tears or mere words and lip service? So, bless me that I may develop uncontrived compassion from the bottom of my heart, from the marrow of my bones, as long as I don't disappoint my kind parents, no matter who I may disappoint, so be it. If I disappoint my kind parents, even if all beings were to become my friends, what good could there be in that? If they quarrel with me, evil karma, sins and obscurations are purified. If they beat me, unfortunate circumstances and obstacles are dispelled. If they bind me in servitude, the freedoms and leisure of this life will be put to good use. So, no matter what, my parents are extremely kind. I am one who has forgotten that which is regrettable to forget, one's parents. I am one who remembers that which is all right to forget, sons, our karmic creditors. Have a compassionate look at this wretched one, who slipped into the abyss of distortion. For those who train following the sons of the conquerors, there is no other way but to have love and compassion. For a long time I have forgotten my parents. Have a compassionate look at this madman. Since you have no need at all for parents, you feel no embarrassment, you pretty much do whatever you wish. That is what you have done in the past, and that is where your current inclinations come from. No parent has ever helped you, have they? Or else, if you can't deny they did, they are surely having a great time, right? That callous you have been in the past too, and now, once more, you have disappointed your parents. By meditation on compassion, the saints have mastered bodhicitta and accomplished the aims of themselves and others. You, on the other hand, have behaved with this very lack of embarrassment, and now your opportunity for awakening is gone. To judge from your current behavior, repaying the kindness of your parents will never happen. You have kept doing exactly this, and this is exactly what has come about. It is what has come about, granted, but it is bound to happen. Comparing the merit of fostering for a thousand eons, a relative who pays back with harm the help received, a single day of serving one's parents is superior. Where are my kind parents right now? Do you see the hairs of my body standing on end? Do you see the stream of tears pouring from my eyes? Do you hear the sorrowful cries coming from my lips? Do you see the longing and the agony in my mind? Even if there is no chance of mother and son keeping company for long, what a joy to meet, even if it is for a single day. Even if I seem to lack any embarrassment, I could reciprocate. Even though I am shameless, I could do something for them. Even if destitute, I could still care for them. Even if clumsy, I could still be their servant. Even if I am so callous, I could still please them, but I have no such opportunity. Thinking from my very heart, how sad. Heartless as I am, whatever I've done so far, there's no time for it now. I must die sooner or later. When I think on it, my heart is torn apart. Root and lineage lamas, come to my help. Be my guides, ye dumb deities. Guide my inclinations, heroes and dakinis. Dispel obstacles, Dharmapala protectors. Upon hearing him, 
all offered confession and wailing, and took a strong resolution. Suppose we cannot appreciate the kindness and extend compassion and love towards our mother. In that case, it will be challenging to generate loving kindness and compassion towards all the sentient beings and develop bodhicitta.